What's going on guys? Welcome to Triple Crown Sports Academy Classroom. I'm Coach Andrew and today we're going to the drawing board and we're going to talk about what makes a great baseball player. Okay, we had this conversation with our kids the other night in, uh, in our academy and uh, I'm going to go over point by point and, and different topics to talk about what makes a good baseball player, what do you want to be remembered as, and what kind of ball player are you. And is baseball for you or are you just a fan of baseball? So when we go here, um, we're going to talk about what, it, what are you doing to take the extra mile, okay? First off, are you taking extra reps at practice? Meaning, are you coming early? Are you getting the reps, the extra reps, the correct reps, okay? You don't want to just go out there swing a thousand swings the wrong way and say, hey, I got my extra reps in, I'm good to go. No, it's quality over quantity, okay? You want to take quality at bats and reps over the quantity. Anybody can hit a thousand times the wrong way, but you're not progressing, okay? You're not making yourself better. You're not doing uh, what you need to do to be better in the game, okay? Less, less reps, but better ones, the right way, focusing on what you need to focus on, better quality, that's going to make you progress and, and uh, make you a better ball player, okay? Are you coming in early? Are you leaving late? Are you asking questions? Are you getting extra ground balls? Are you uh, asking, asking the coach what, he's, what you're doing wrong and asking to get extra? Are you coming in on your days off when you're not practicing and doing the work? Everybody heard they say, what you do in the dark will come to the light. Meaning, what you don't do when nobody's looking, you will get exposed. So if you're lying to yourself, saying you're getting extra reps, you're going the extra mile to do what you gotta do, and you're really not, it's gonna, it's gonna show on the field when you're not getting better. Your players are going ahead of you um, in progression-wise, or you're not making the plays on the field, okay? So going the extra mile means getting extra reps. Do what you gotta do to make yourself better. Are you being a good teammate, okay? Uh, not a good teammate meaning, oh, um, when you want to be, when you want to be nice to a teammate, when you uh, want to be friends with him, when it benefits you, that's not being a good teammate. Being a good teammate means talking to your players on the field. As a team, we're brothers and we're a family, okay? So your family, your brother, okay, you never want to see him down. You always want to see him up. Be positive with your team when, when things aren't going the right way because you want that player to be there for you when things aren't going the right way for you. Everybody struggles in baseball at time to time. You gotta pick up your teammate, you gotta be there for him, you gotta um, be positive, uh, teach him. If you know something and he don't, teach him so he does it the right way, so he don't keep doing it the wrong way and thinking in his mind that, oh, I'm not getting better, I'm not good, I'm, this game's not for me. You wanna help him because if he's better, and you're better, what happens, you win games, and that's what you want to be for, for your team, okay? Are you trying to make your teammates better? That's going on um, what I just said. Are you um, talking to them on the field, communication, um, challenging them, okay? Challenge them, hey, you're not doing this right, you're not uh, throwing the ball right, you're not uh, focusing. Hey, let's get it together, right? Let, let's make this goal, okay? Let's get three hits today. Let's do our job. Runners in scored position, let's score runs, okay? Let's win this game, let's get better. That's what, uh, uh, making your teammates better. Are you being a vocal leader, okay? Are, are you talking? Are you just sitting on the bench and being quiet and let the game go on and your teammates are struggling or you're losing, you're just gonna pout on the bench, do your own thing and be your own person? No, there's no I in team, as everybody says, okay? Be a vocal leader, okay? Talk it up. If you see your teammate not focusing, not being positive, being negative, pouting, crying, whatever it is, not putting in the effort, not giving it 100%, okay? Call them out. Let them know. Hey, we're a team. We're here together. Let's focus. Let's get it together, all right? Pouting and not being positive, being negative, uh, thinking only about yourself is not going to make your team better. So be a vocal leader. Um, show show uh, your teammates by example, okay? If you're gonna talk and be a vocal leader, make sure that you're doing that job too, 
All right, you want to back up what you want, what you're saying. Okay, uh, being a star role player. Okay, we talk about gym lyrics. It don't matter if you're a stud, you're a regular player, average, or maybe you're not that good. Okay, no matter what you are, nobody is lower than you. Okay, you're not better than anybody. Okay, everybody has to do their job. Just because you're a stud doesn't mean you can't do your job, uh, you're not good enough. No, that means when you get your opportunity, seize the moment. All right, take that opportunity, get a hit. All right, run out the, run out the hit hard, run the bases hard, fast, be aggressive, be focused. All right, and then you'll get your opportunities more, and then you'll be becoming the, the better player. Okay, it don't matter if you're on the bench or if you're a starter. Everybody has to do their job together to win games, all right? Like, I, I focused on Jim Lirids in 1996, where he wasn't the stud. He wasn't the star player, okay? But he came up, he did his job. He did his job, he hit a home run. They ended up winning that game, and ended up the Yankees ended up winning the 1996 World Series, okay? When it don't matter, okay? It don't matter. You could become the star when you get your opportunity to do your job off the bench. Are you making a lasting impression on people? Okay, like I said before, it, it, you, nobody's below you. Okay, um, as some people might say uh, um, in the business world, it's not who you know, it's who knows you. Okay, what I mean by that, who knows you? And are you making a lasting impression? Meaning, are you coming to practice early? Are you working hard? Are you running out bases hard? Are you being aggressive? Are you taking the, a lot of ground balls? Are you making yourself better? Are you being a leader? Okay, asking questions, studying the game. Okay, all those will get your name out there. Okay, people are gonna start knowing who you are. Like I tell players, a scout might come to see a certain player but when they hear your vocal, they see you're hitting the ball, they see you're doing your job, that you're hustling, they're gonna start seeing you too. They're gonna say, who's that player? They're gonna start focusing on, on you too, okay? It's about the impression that you're gonna leave on people, okay? Most, most people uh, don't even go for that many interviews. They might go for one interview in, in their career. And they don't have to go for other interviews. When when opportunity comes, a coach or a business person say, hey, I know this guy. Let's go contact this guy. This guy is going to be good for the job. Or this guy could, uh, this kid could play good on our team. He's a good play, good ball player. He left a great impression on me last time I seen him. So it's not always about who you know to get you there, but it's also who knows you. Your name will get out there. Your name will spread spread out there and people will start knowing who you are. That's it for about going the extra mile. Now I want to talk about what kind of teammate are you? Okay. Like I said before, we're all brothers. We're all a family. Um, we're here together to accomplish the same goal. We want to be in the MLB. All right. We're doing everything together. We're all going to help each other get to that, that point. Okay. Are you challenging your teammates? Like I talked about before, are you uh, setting goals? Are you challenging them? Hey, I got two hits today. Let's get two hits too, all right? Let's, uh, let's get this run in. Let's pitch a good game. Challenge your teammates to do well. When you see your teammates are down, challenge them. Challenge them to get better. Challenge them in practice when you see they're not doing well. Get them going, and that'll help your teammate, uh, team uh, become better. Are you setting good examples, okay? If you're a team leader and you're doing the wrong things, uh, not showing up to practice, not um, doing the right things, not hustling, not doing what your coach says, says everybody's gonna follow you because they think if you could do it, they could do the same thing. So you have to be, be a leader in setting examples. As they always say with Tom Brady, he gets to the, the building early, watches a lot of film, gets a lot of reps in practice, leaves the building late, always studying. He's setting a good example for the rest of his team to do the same thing. 
And when they do the same thing, then your team is going to get better and better, and you're going to be in a lot of Super Bowls like, like he was. Okay, set by example. Are you positive to other players? Okay, just because a player is not better than you, he's not as good as you, doesn't mean you tell him, hey, you suck, bro. You made that error. You cost us that game. No, you have to be positive, all right? You lost the game. All right, you lost the game. If a player costs you the game, okay, he did. But let's be positive. Hey, Johnny, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't get down there. Right? We got another game. We're going to play hard. We got you. We got your back, all right? Always be positive. Don't bring your teammates further down. Because when you bring your teammates further down, it snowball, snowballs on everybody else. And then what happens? Your whole team is down. Your whole team is negative, And you're not going to go out there and play well at all. Okay? So be positive to your teammates. Are you setting good examples? Like I said earlier, um, you want to, you want to um, be a good role model for your, for your teammates. Are you on time? Do you stay late? Like I talked about Tom Brady. Be on time. Some kids can, they don't drive to games. So you got to tell your parents, hey, we got to go. We got to be out at this time, okay? We got to be on, on time to the game hour early. I need to get my reps in. I need to stretch. I need to throw. I got to do what I got to do to prepare myself to succeed in this game or this tournament, okay? You have to be on time, and sometimes you have to stay late. Ask a coach. Hey, uh, can you stay late with me? Uh, I want to get some more ground balls. I don't have any opportunities at home. Uh, my family works or I'm by myself. I can't get the ground balls I need. Reach out to a coach. Hey, after practice, can you give me some more ground balls by myself so I could get some more reps in? Okay, that's what being on time and staying late means. Are you studying? Not only in school, but baseball, okay? Let's talk about school. We need to study in school, okay? Uh, there's a... A lot of times that you're not gonna make it. Maybe you don't make it to high school. Maybe you don't make it onto the college team. And when you wanna be drafted or signed, you're going against thousands and thousands of, of kids that want the same goal and opportunities as you. And we might not make it. So we need a backup plan, all right? We need a backup plan. We have to be um, straight A's in school. We have to study in school. You have to have a plan B. Because your plan A might not always work. So you need something to fall back on. And schoolwork is very important. When colleges are looking for you, uh, they want to give, they have a certain amount of uh, money that they could give out. So if you're doing well in school and they could get you a educational scholarship and then whatever is left over they give for baseball, that helps them out. They want those players because that's more money they could spend on, on other players and fill out their roster. Okay? There's only 11.2 scholarships in Division I per team, okay? And you got a 25-man roster. They have to divide all those out, and they have walk-ons as well. So if you do your job, you do well in school, that helps out your coach, and, and, and that'll get you more opportunities in, in scholarships in Division I and, and playing, playing time. But also study baseball. When you're on deck... You should be studying the pitcher. When you're in the hole, you should be studying the pitcher. When you're on the bench, you should be studying the pitcher. Studying the game. When you're home, a lot of parents take videos. Study your videos. Just don't look at your videos and say, oh, I hit a home run. That's it. Oh, man, I'm going to Instagram it. I did well. That's it. No, look what you did, did to hit that home run. Look what you did well in that at bat. Look at your pitch selection. Look at how you're pitching. Okay, look at how you play. Study the videos. Study the game. Don't just come to practice. All right, I learned what I gotta learn. I go home and I forget about it. No, study what you learned in practice, so you can keep progressing, progressing. Always, this game is about learning and studying. You have to study no matter what. Okay, study what the other team is doing. When you're not playing and you're waiting for the game to start. Watch those other teams. So when you play that team, you have the edge. You know what's going to happen. You know how their hitters are. You know where they hit the ball. So you have an edge on them. Okay? Study the game of baseball. Are you a selfless person? Okay? What I mean by that is, are you looking out for your teammates? 
all right? Don't always just look out for yourself, okay? But look out for your teammates, your family, brotherhood, always looking out for the next person, okay? And that'll help you grow as a, as a ball player and as a man as you get older. Are you being a coach on the field? I refer that to Yadi Molina, how he controls the game, how he's the second pitching coach out there, okay? You have a pitching coach on the bench in the big leagues, but Yadi controls the game while he's out there. He studies the game very well. He knows what the batters are gonna do. He knows what his pitchers are gonna do. He knows how his pitchers are comfortable in different situations. He knows what his pitchers like to throw, okay? When he sees that his pitcher is getting out of rhythm or not doing uh, what Yachty wants or um, maybe his mechanics are off, Yachty sees that. Calls timeout, goes out to the mound, and fixes those things, okay? You want to be uh, another coach on the field. A coach can only go out to the mound a certain amount of times, okay? So as fielders, we have to be coaches out there as well, as well as the catcher, to, hey, let's call timeout, let's talk to my pitcher. If he's rushing or he's getting out of rhythm, let me call timeout, let me talk to him, let me settle him down, and, and, and we'll work our way through, through that together, okay? Be a coach out there. So that's what I got on, on what kind of teammate you are, okay? Now I talk about what is mental toughness in baseball, okay? This game is, is a mental game, okay? It's not all about physical, okay? You have to be mentally prepared to take on what you're gonna take on every night, okay? It's like a chess match between the pitcher and the hitter and the fielders as well. So we have to be mentally prepared for this game. It's 162 games a year for big leagues or 20 games for high school or 40 games for, for college, okay? That's a long period of time, day in and day out. All day working out, going to school, working out, practice at nighttime or playing at nighttime. So we have to be mentally focused for this game. So now the definition if you go online and check it out, it's an individual relinquishment and confidence that may predict success in sport, education, or workplace. It is a mental state of athletes who preserve through difficult sports circumstances to succeed. A positive state of mind with confidence to get through any difficult situation, okay? When, when you're down in the game, when you're struggling, when you're in the slump, it's about mental focus, mental toughness right here, okay? You gotta be mentally prepared for the next play, the next at bat, the next pitch. Can't dwell on the past. You have to go out there, have confidence that you're gonna do the job, you're gonna do it this way, and you could get that hit. When you go up to bat like, like this, you're mentally out of it. You're telling the pitcher that he's not mentally ready for this at bat, he's gonna blow you right by. You gotta go up there tough, knowing that I'm gonna get a hit. Think in your head, I'm gonna get a hit, I'm gonna get a hit, and you're gonna get a hit. When you stay positive and have that toughness to go, get through any situation, okay? Even on the mound. Don't look down just because a hitter is really good. No, you want him. Go after him. Be tough out there, okay? That's what I mean by mental, fo mental toughness, okay? Now we go on to what motivates, mo motivates you to play baseball. <laughs> What about baseball you love? Do your parents motivate you? Do MLB players motivate you? Do coaches motivate you? Or what does baseball give you? You want what baseball gives people? Or you want, you want to be a great ball player or a future Hall of Famer? Now what I mean by do you love baseball? Is that your passion? Is that what you want to do in life? Do you want to put all your hard work sweat and tears into baseball to become that MLB player, okay? Anybody could just want to play baseball, but there's two types of players. There's players that just go to practice, go through the routines, and then go home. Or there's another uh, type of baseball player that goes through practice, that studies the game, that gets the extra reps, that practices five times a week, that works out, that really wants that game. And he'll do whatever it takes to get there, okay? As I tell our kids in the academy, there's kids in Puerto Rico, there's kids in Dominican Republic or other countries that don't have the opportunities that you have, okay? That's a way of life for them. They don't go to school. Venezuela, okay? They don't go to school. They gotta do whatever they can 
to get better in baseball to come to the U.S. to play, okay? Because that's their way of life, get out of their bad situations. So here in the U.S., you're going against a lot of people in the draft, and then on top of that, international players that want to get signed. So you got to do everything you can. You got to want to love baseball. You got to put your passion into it and heart into baseball to become a great ball player, okay? Do you want to be a ball, uh, baseball player just because you watch all the uh, World Series, the playoff games, the season, see what the players get, how they party, how uh, all the free stuff they get, how they're celebrities? Or do you, do you want that just because you see them do that and you just want to be there? Or you want to put the hard work that they did to get to that point? Because they put all their hard work and effort into getting to that point to get those opportunities to get that celebrity status to get to play in those big games to get that big money okay so you can't just want something see somebody has something and want what they have no you got to see what they did to put in the work to get to that spot and you have to put in that work as well to get there when I talk about do you want what baseball gives you or do you want to be a baseball player do you want to go play high school ball and get to walk around, you got the girls, oh, they want to be with all the athletes, or you want to go in the mall and wear your gear, or go to baseball games, wear your gear, and, and spirit the team, be a team spirit, or do you want to wear that proud and know that you worked hard to get to that spot, that I'm wearing this because I got to that spot, that I worked hard to get to that spot. I didn't just want to be on the team so I could wear it all this gear and wear all these clothes that, that say my high school or my favorite MLB team. No, I worked hard to get there, okay? I put in the effort. I want to play this game. I don't want just what this game will give me, okay? So that's what I mean by what motivates a player. What kind of player are you? What do you want to be remembered as? Are you putting in the effort and hard work? Do you fall in love with baseball and think you know everything or are you willing to learn more and ask for help? What do you want to be remembered as? Do you want to be remembered as the lazy person that didn't do well, that had a bad work ethic or didn't progress, didn't develop? Or do you want to be remembered as, damn, that kid went out every day, he worked hard, he gave it 100% every day. His effort was crazy high that he wanted to get better, he was determined to beat everybody out. That he was gonna be the best player on that ball field that day. Do you wanna be remembered as a great ball player or somebody that didn't put in the work? That had all the talent and skill to get to an elite level, but didn't wanna uh, put in the day in and day out uh, effort, the practice. They didn't wanna work out, they didn't wanna study the game. Just wanted to play just to play and didn't care if he, if he did well or not. You want to be remembered as somebody who put in the work. So somebody says, oh, you said uh, Johnny Smith? Man, Johnny Smith is good, man. I seen that kid. I like, I like his worth ethic. I like that kid. I want, I want that kid on my team. That's what you want to be remembered as. Ask for help. This game is, is changing year in and year out. Okay, every year there's something new. There's every year they're testing certain drills, certain swing paths, certain ways to uh, get launch angle, certain pitches, rotation on the ball, the axes of the ball going, the depth of it going down. Okay, everything's changing. You don't know everything, okay? Even professional baseball players are learning. Don't be scared to ask for help. Everybody's here for you. Coaches are here for you. Ask for help. Ask what this person's doing. Ask what that person's doing. Ask what this person's doing. <clears throat> Take what they're doing and see what works for you. Okay? Always learning. Okay? You, you want to go in every year, hey, and every offseason, excuse me, and say, hey, what did I do wrong that offseason? Let me ask somebody and learn a different perspective and see what I got to do to make it right this season, to do better this season, to progress, okay? As myself, I played, and uh, as I work for Omir Santos here at Triple Crown Sports Academy, I'm asking him. And there's things that he might 
not know and he's learning from other professionals in the game okay everybody it's a learning process every year not everybody knows everything and not one single person that gonna have all the answers for you for baseball for the rest of their life no this game is changing ask for help don't be scared don't have a big ego and say oh I know everything I don't need to ask you I'm good no ask for help just see what people are saying and see if it works for you okay always ask for help okay and put in the effort put in the effort the hard work and that'll that'll get you successful in life okay as we talk about here in Triple Crown, you play for the name on the front of your jersey and everyone who put in the endless hours and hard work to provide you with the opportunities to succeed and play the game that you love most, okay? You might wear uh, your high school, St. John's Prep I went to. You might wear that on the front of your jersey, okay? And on the back might be your name, but you gotta go out there and represent St. John's University. Okay, you got, or St. John's Prep, or Freedom High School, or University of Miami. You got to represent that, that school, or the team that you play for, Travel Ball, Triple Cross Sports Academy. You got to represent that team, okay? Because there's been a lot of players that succeeded, that worked hard to give that, that organization, that school a name, okay? And give you the opportunity to play at a high level. Okay, so you're playing for those people in the past that did their job to make the foundation for you. Okay, so you're not just playing for your name on the back, you're playing for everybody who been through that organization, been through that school, that put in the hard work, that made a name for themselves and for that school so you could look good. Okay, so don't disrespect the game, don't disrespect that school. Give it 100% effort every day every day even when you're not practicing when your team is not practicing give a hundred percent all day every day every time you step out onto that field it's a hundred percent because remember everybody that you represent while you're playing that game you're not just playing that game for yourself so that's all i got we are chip across sports academy i hope uh, this video was uh, very good to you very instructional uh, if you like to give it a thumbs up, check us out on www.triplecrosssportsacademy.com or our Facebook or Instagram, Twitter. 